me is the fact that for a group of people who claim to care about Ohio so much, you know, they choose not to come to the table and, and, and talk with us. And uh, what was also instructive to me just within the last week is this has played out and we've asked them to come back to the table and talk with us. Uh, I've had local government officials say, well now, you know what we deal with. This is one of the problems. We cannot have a reasonable conversation. What Senate Bill 5 does is restore reasonableness and a balance uh, to the collective bargaining process. And I'll be honest, I had not really thought about it from that standpoint where the local government said, now, you, now you're walking in our shoes. We can't get them to come to the table and talk with us, and we end up in these uh, very unfortunate situations. And so you know, I, I have a greater appreciation for the frustration of local government having gone through this for the past a few months, where as the governor uh, correctly pointed out, and contrary to many erroneous press reports, they refuse to come to the table at any point in this process and talk with us. There is one group that did step up, and that was the FOP, working with the firefighters. They did come in and try to work with us, and we made some changes based on their input. No other representative group came and talked to us about any of their ideas. And it makes it very difficult to work through a compromise if you have a party that chooses not to participate. 